Hello, my name is Marcus Ibrahim and I'm a realtor and uh, many times I look at houses and the caulking around the bathtub is super cracked and lets water behind the bathtub enclosure, which ruins the house. So my clients are always like, ew, and I just figured I'd shoot a quick video to show you how to replace that caulking. This is an example of when the grout um, cracks and then the water gets behind the wall and causes a lot of damage. So I'll show you a couple things now. The tools we're gonna to use are just painter's tape. We're gonna line it and caulk from the store. And we try to get either 100% silicone or 100% waterproof with silicone in it so that it uh, is stretchy and moves with the tub. And this is a caulk remover from the corners to scrape it off if you have old caulk. And I used a, my old shorts as a rag with some rubbing alcohol to clean off some of the excess grout or caulking that might be there after you scrape off the old stuff. Also, if you have old caulk, I would recommend a box cutter like this, but it goes into a nice handheld thing that you can hold and won't hurt your fingers as much. I have now taped the entire tub, the seams, using painter's tape. And this was a long process. I cut a few pieces to get the corners just right all the way to the bottom so that when the water falls over the tub it won't get into that grout and now I'm going to caulk it. I have put the caulk and or silicone in my distributor gun and normally it has a little metal thing uh, here to poke the hole but this one doesn't and thankfully this bottle um, didn't need didn't have a little foil membrane. Anyway, I cut the tip off like this with my blade, just a tiny, small hole. And like I said, normally you would have to puncture a foil membrane or aluminum membrane inside, but this one did not have one. And now I'm gonna use two hands. So I'm just showing you what I'm gonna do first, but I'll start at the top and I will just apply a bead all the way down this channel that I've created with the painter's tape all the way down and across and across and then down and across and then I'm gonna go down the front and across the front and then down the front and then I'm going to I'm gonna you've seen people do this thing they wipe it down with their finger to fill the to fill the cracks with the to fill the crack with the bead however a little secret tip that I saw in another YouTube video was some guy would use a tiny bit of uh, water and soap mixture, just a little water soap mixture, so that his finger is slippery and the caulk doesn't stick all over his hand. And then it comes off your hand much easier at the end. So I'll show you the finished product in a minute. Here's an attempt at a single-handed bead for the camera. You get in the corner, gently squeeze and move with a steady motion. So make sure that bead is coming out the entire time. And not too fast, not too slow. I missed a spot and I'll come back to that, but it'll actually probably get filled up when I run my finger. That. A tiny bit here. There we go. I'm gonna smooth it out like this in a second. I'll start from this side to catch up. So I want the tip just about in contact with the corner the whole time. And I connected them there. So now I'm gonna run my finger along it and squeeze it in just like I did here. There we go. Tiny bit of soapy water. Just like that. Just rub it off. Fingers nice and slippery. Then I'm going to start from the corner, put my finger in, push gently so that it oozes out and fills in all the cracks. You see how that messed up spot just got filled in by the excess when I squeeze it in with my finger? Same here, nice and smooth all the way to the end. Okay, now the big reveal. I'm gonna peel this 
painters tape off while it is still wet. You do not want to wait until it dries. You want to peel it off while it's wet so that it doesn't crack. Oh, how satisfying, like pulling off a scab. So far, it looks pretty good to me. Nice straight line. Clean, super clean, very happy so far. I'm gonna turn the camera to the finish. And the finished product. I am quite pleased. Look at these nice corners. And you'll see no crazy oozing. Look how smooth this line is. I've caught no oozing, no bleeding everywhere. I would say the most important thing about this project was the taping. This was only my first time ever caulking. Maybe my second, but my first time doing it the right way. So look how clean that line is. All the way down the corner. All the way across, remember that crack that was in there? Open crack, now sealed. All the way down. And across the front of the tub. I'm very happy with the results. Oh, so there you have it. That's how you caulk a tub for the first time using about $30 of materials. Actually, even less, probably 20. Just this bad boy. The, the gun, the green gun, the tube itself some hand soap mixed with water, lots of tape, and some rubbing alcohol to clean and scrape any old stuff off before you start. I hope you enjoyed and uh, on to better things. Take care.